Stanford, even a little more menacing in that road black, <laughs> normally in cardinal and white. The tip is won by the two bigs. Tip to Ke by Cameron to Kiki. And we are underway here from Tempe. Thanks so much for spending part of the last Friday night in January with us. Into Erie often, she's not gonna miss from there. Well, her one of her good buddies just passed her the ball, Cameron Brink, and it's great to see her back. As we said, yeah, that's a high-low might nightmare. Trey Crisp getting it to Jane Simmons. Jalen Brown to Crisp for three. That missed everything. Helena Lepolo ahead. Helena Bogdana trying to get it into Erie off and good defense by Souza. Uh, very good defense and that's a big turnover. We'll see if the Sun Devils can capitalize on that. Souza getting it to Simmons, almost lost the handle, gets it back. Jalen Brown, triple try, off window, you betcha. Well, for the three, the bank is open late here in Tempe. And I don't know if she called it, but it's a good way to start for Jalen Brown. Into Arioff and double team comes, she leaves it short, rebound put back, no. Once, twice, thrice, no, Arioff and then fouled. <laughs> Good way to start for Jalen Brown. Into Erie off and double team comes. She leaves it short. Rebound put back. No. Once, twice, thrice. No. Erie off and then fouled. <laughs> I don't know if she called that, but it is good. Inside to Cameron Brink. She's got the mismatch and takes advantage for that ACL. And boy, does ASU miss her six foot three inch frame tonight. They do. These Stanford forwards are sure big. Off window is Brink. She wanted a foul, didn't get it, but Cameron will take the deuce. That is a big player. That was a really nice fast break and an even better one here from Houston, Texas. She completes the three-point play the old-fashioned. We're tied at six here in the first quarter of play. Coach Adair playing defense alongside her Sun Devils. <laughs> yes, she is. Here he often on the tank draws the personal person to look up to and model your game after. Six foot three inches tall from Los Angeles, California. Gets the roll on the second one. Chris long two. Here he often is there for the rebound. Boy, she secures so well with both hands. Bouncing inside to Brink, and Brink will head to the free throw. 24, Mallory Miller, so a little more height for ASU. Miller is 6'4". Brink, no problem. From yeah, I don't know. I asked who's helping her with their free throws, and no one's guarding you. Let's put it some points up, and boy, things change. And she's one of the best free throw shooters now in the country. Miller for three. Off window. Jump into Erie often. Hannah jump. With Simmons in her hip pocket. A whistle blows. And it looks like they'll get Simmons for the personal foul. Yeah, let's see this bank here. Nice shot from basically the same spot as Jalen Brown. They like that wing. Brink almost lost the handle, gets it back off the mark. Turn Journey Thompson is there for the rebound, and here come the Sun Devils down just a point. Journey Thompson, mid-range mistress, hello. You know, I said this early, the Sun Devils are just playing with a new confidence. They look really good. And sharing the basketball, unselfish, and you know, they respect uh, Stanford, but they don't fear them. Really nice shot here by Journey Thompson. And a jump buries the triple. That's what she does, Joan. Yes, she does, and it's a good sign for Stanford that she's not only looking for her shots, she's knocking some down because she can go for a lot of threes. She's already eclipsed her point total from Sunday. Jalen Brown doesn't get the roll. Brink is there for another rebound. Here comes Stanford. Lapolo into Kiki Ariafa and sensing the double team tries to kick it back out and Chris was right there. 
Jaden Simmons pull up jumper. Followed her shot. Ball goes out of bounds and will go to the Brooke Dimitri, the junior forward, six foot three inches tall from Foothills Ranch, California. Yeah, she started uh, last Sunday in place of Brink when she was out, and that was her first career start at Stanford. And did well. She did very well. Hannah jumps, skips it across court. Coming up by Sagna. Off. Cameron Brink, no. And yes. Wow. I mean, it is awesome going after your own shots. Offensive rebound there. Stanford's already at five offensive rebound. The rebound differential right now is 10 to 1 in favor of Stanford. Jalen Brown reversing beautifully. That was a great move and an even pretty finish. And check out this steal. Second steal for Crisp already in this quarter. Five minutes to go. And Arizona can tie or take the lead on this possession. Janiah Harriel is at the scorer's table looking to check in for Stanford. Is, uh, she's humble, but, but she really goes out of her way to help other coaches. And, and uh, Coach Adair, is, you know, she's a new coach, uh, but Tara always goes out of her way and congratulates people. And that's why she's so respected uh, in the Pac-12 and across the country. Good. Dimitri beating the defense. New player in for Stanford, number 40, Courtney Ogden, the freshman forward from Atlanta, Georgia. She gets beat by Brown off glass. Four minutes to go, first quarter. Stanford on top by two. Three seconds in the key. But Jalen Brown, she her confidence level is really skyrocketing. Her last four games, she's averaged over 24 points. It appears that Courtney Ogden seems to be in a little bit of difficulty. For and Ogden will continue to get looked at by the training staff. Little love that cotton ball up the nostril. Shot clock getting low. Simmons bouncing to Thompson. Step through. Beautiful move by Journey Thompson. And uses the glass, and what a pretty finish, and we got a tie game. 17 apiece, three minutes to go here in the first quarter of play. This is a Stanford team that has won at least 20 games in 22 straight seasons. The polo with the shot clock getting low. Inside to Brink, right at the Stanford finally did and got a pretty finish there by Brink. Cameron Brink leads all scores with 10 points. All-American with the finish. Trey Chris blocked. Janiah Harriel coming through. So back-to-back -back blocks by the Cardinal on that possession alone. Into Brink. It's just... Yeah, Tara asked me earlier if I remembered if when I was 21. <laughs> You do, I know I you do, do. I do, but that was a long time ago. But I hope this is a special birthday for Janaya. A jump to the free throw line. Who is in five games against Arizona State? She averages 10.4 points a game against the Sun Devils and misses both of her free throws. 26.7 seconds to go. Yeah, and the Sun Devils haven't scored in over three minutes. That ball goes out of bounds. Pretty quickly. I mean, you could get one, maybe two dribbles off and travel. Brooke Dimitri, number three, Nunu Aguera, has checked in for Stanford. More size defensively. Clardy almost stole the ball, and that is how the first quarter will end. Stanford on top, 21 to 17, looking to get to seven and one in. Arizona State only down four. Journey Thompson, baseline jumper, no. Battle for the rebound, won by Kiki Iriotha. It's good for the Sun Devils. They forced a lot of turnovers already. Brink was off on the shot went off the back iron great opportunity for arizona state 
you know, Arizona State needs to score. They haven't scored in over four minutes. Treyana Crisp. Shot clock into single digits. Jaden Simmons draws the personal foul. And gets to the line quite, quite often. Arizona State's top rebounder this season. As a guard. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they need a... She needs to rebound in her teammate. You wouldn't know it by looking at the score, though, no. Joan. It's just a two-point game. Cameron Brink bouncing inside to Aguera, who has whistled for the offensive. For Stanford again. Arizona State. Can tie or take the lead right here. Simmons trying to get around the corner. Good defense by Labolo. Shot clock getting low. Chris recognizes, drives, and hits. Okay. Underneath the defensive hand and a pretty finish there. And we got a tie game. Uh, very quickly, Kiki numbers. <laughs> Thompson, pull up jumper. Who wouldn't have it? Janiah Harrell inbounding to Talana Polo, who brings it back out. Down low to Erie Offen, up and in. She's got eight. Scoring drought of about two and a half minutes now for Arizona State. KD puts it on the deck, kicks it back out. Miller fires for three. Just wouldn't fall. Polo bouncing in to Brink. She blows the bunny, tries to clean up the mess, and will head to the free throw line. Crew is looking at possible intentional foul here on Cameron Brink for throwing the ball after the whistle blows. Yes, she did sort of throw that at Mallory Miller. Arizona State's bench asked for this review. They've received it. Cameron Brink will be assessed a technical foul for throwing the basketball toward Mallory Miller. Okay. So you better be, you know, I, I think she was frustrated with that, but you can't do that to another player. And the officials were on top of it. ASU was on top of it and asked for the review. No real protest from Tara Vanderveer, so she doesn't seem to be too displeased. She'll be pretty focused here making these free throws or shooting them. She's got 13. Perfect form. And it didn't even touch the rim. Jalen Brown shooting technical free throws here for ASU. Jalen's going to shoot free throws and hopefully they take care of the blood on the floor. Here. So that was from Courtney Ogden's nose issue in the first quarter. Jalen Brown off on the first free throw try. The 80 percenter makes the second one. Brown defended by Hannah Jump. Step back. No. Brink with another rebound. She's already got the double-double. Kiki Irioff and lost the handle, gets it back. Jump, swings it to Ogden. Inside to Kiki Irioff and off the bounce, up and in. Irioff and into double figures with 10. KD puts it on the deck. Gets it back to Mallory Miller. Battle for the rebound. Very often, just fighting. Jump ball is called in the nation in rebounding margin at 17 rips per. And they are showing us tonight, Joan. Absolutely. They dominate the glass. Hannah, jump off window. Arizona State hasn't scored. It's almost five minutes now. They need to get a basket. Oh, for their last eight. Make it oh, for their last nine. How does Arizona State adjust, Joan? Well, they just need other players to make some shots. But unfortunately, none of them have been able to go down. Treyana Chris blocked by Brink, her second block of the day. Simmons trying to get it over the long reach of Brink, misses everything. And here comes Stanford. 
Courtney Ogden in the corner, back out to Hannah Jump, over to Juana Lapolo. Waiting for the screen. Thanks. Chuck Gonzalez showed the four, then he flashed another four, but he was just confirming four. <laughs> Alameda, California. She gets the second one to go. Just a four-point lead for Stanford after one. A totally different story here in this second quarter, Joan. Well, part of that is not having Jalen Brown on the floor. And the uh, Sun Devils just haven't been able to score. And you really got to credit the defense. There's a foul. So Erie Offen, the reigning Pac-12 Player of the Week, picking up the personal foul. It will be Khadijah Torre at the free throw line. She gets the first one at the Jerry uh, Colangelo series. And against Fresno State, she went for a career-high 22. She did. She played great that night. Under a minute to go before halftime. Erie Offen kicking it to LaPolo. Three on the way. You betcha. Kyla Souza getting it to Chris. Blocked by Bree. Thompson pulls it back out. Gets it up. And that's another rebound for Cameron Brink, who already has the double-double. Shot clock is off. Brink, good if it goes. It does not. He ran into Vanderveer at a restaurant. And, of course, the two had to say hey. Yeah, actually, Christian McCaffrey came up and introduced himself like she didn't know who he was. And she said, yeah, I know who you were. I was at Stanford when you played there. Um, yeah, she's been around. I'm glad she had that jacket, that Nike jacket on also. I was hoping she'd bring it down here for the trip, but she didn't. Yeah, she says it's really heavy. Well, that's because she has so many wins. <laughs> Arizona State with the basketball to start the second half. Trey Crisp finds the bottom of the net. Maybe that's a good sign. For that's that. a really good sign. I like Trey Crisp under control, and uh, that will give the Sun Devils some confidence. Very often, no. Rebound put back, yes. Okay. These kids are good. You know, Stanford, as I said, is known for their offense, but they're very good defensively. Jaden Simmons gets the roll. That was a sweet shot by Jaden Simmons. It's, oh, my goodness. I know Kiki Iriafin wanted to get that back. That was a nice pass by her guard. Trey Crisp for three. You betcha. Trey Crisp is feeling it, stretching the floor. And, boy, the Sun Devils needed that three-point shot. So the lead is down to nine. The whistle blows. And give your team some confidence and some points on the board. Arizona State has already scored seven points in this quarter, more than they scored in the second quarter as Hannah Jump buries the three. She did. That was a well-executed out-of-bounds play by Stanford and a nice three-pointer by Hannah Jump. And a jump is now 49 triples away from breaking the all-time three-point record held by Sydney Weeks. Mallory Miller triple try. This is everything. Battle for the rebound. Ball will turn over to Stanford. Her quick release is so impressive. And But those were good screens by her teammates to get an open jumper. Nobody takes more three-point shots in the conference than Hannah Jump. The mid-range won't fall. Brink battling for the rebound and earns a trip to the free throw. We'll have to deal with the curtain of distraction as she shoots these free throws. He exceeded her average against ASU career. It was 12 and a half. She passed that in the first set. Mallory Miller. No. Brink is there for yet another rebound. She's got 15 of those. Unselfish. Jaden Simmons surveying. Khadijah Torre getting it back to Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown keeps it alive. Tries to get the reverse and earns a trip to the free throw. Averaging 21 points per in Pac-12 play. Turn the free throw line. You know, again, you got to credit uh, Stanford's defense on Jaden Simmons. 
Hannah Jump attacking. That's pretty. Yeah, she's done two now, driving to the basket to show, hey, I like the three-pointer, but I can shoot the two, too. Jalen Brown off glass, gets the roll. Courtney Ogden, no. Journey Thompson winning the rebounding battle. Here come the Sun Devils. Brooke Dimitri with the easiest steal she will come up with today. <laughs> Inside to Kiki Iriakin, up and in. These players for Stanford have their heads up, very unselfish, and pass ahead. And Kiki and both Cameron Brink know to run to the front of the rim, and they'll get rewarded. Jaden Simmons, smaller defender on her. Jalen Brown, double team, doesn't matter. Okay, I don't know. They are very good and very impressive. Rapolo with Chris all over her. Gets it to Brooke Dimitri, handing off to Hannah Jump. Courtney Ogden leaving it for Erie off, and what a pass and an and one. Average a game, 18, which is good for 37th best in the nation. Erie often completes the... And they need to score a little bit quicker. They're taking a lot of time off the clock. Torre. That's nice. She thought about that a little bit. The fans were saying, why does shoot the ball? And she finally did. Courtney Ogden bouncing to Kiki Iriafin. Iriafin. Iriafin shooting about 77%. Listen, Stanford is second, or rather third in the nation in free throw percentage. And you know, that's how you win a lot of games. And I think it's very close to a Stanford record right now as to how they're shooting free throws, and that's a turnover. Yes, taking bit, much better care of the ball. Good defense again. Chris throwing it to a teammate who wasn't ready for it. Ogden for three, you betcha. Okay. Chris. Coast to coast. Uh, so she is sweet. Uh, you know, I was saying to myself, she needs to score. She scored early in this quarter. She's just so smooth. Speaking of smooth, <laughs> Kiki Iriafin now has 23 points to go along with 12 rebounds. They're at 19 assists right now. That's above their average. Simmons to Thompson. Looking to beat Arizona State for an 11th straight time. Five seconds. Dimitri recognizing. Two seconds. Aguera. And that is how the third quarter will end. They love playing together. You can tell. They love playing together. Uh, they complement each other. You're fortunate if you ever have a player like that on your team, and now you've got two of them. They both are very, very good. Cameron Brink back in the game and back in the box score. She's got 20 and 16. Uh, that's a pretty good night so far. She's so versatile and quick. 20-point plateau for the ninth time this season. Janiah Hario, no. Brooke Dimitri, yes. Good follow there by Brooke Dimitri, cleaning it up. And, you know, they Stanford really does a great job. Stops, pops, gets the roll. <laughs> Shot clock getting low. Ogden, battle for the rebound. Oh, the offensive rebounding by Stanford today has been epically awesome. Ogden attacking, no. Whistle blows. Ogden landing awkwardly on Simmons, and Jaden Simmons appears to be in some difficulty. The Sun Devils have the basketball going the other way, and you know, I just hope Jaden Simmons is okay. Nothing there was intentional. It was just being in the wrong place at the wrong time. So personal foul against Courtney Ogden, no upgrade, and Arizona State basketball. Jalen Brown, it and out on the three. 
Good offensive rebound there. Journey Thompson to Crisp for three. She's into double figures with... I do like Trayana Crisp. Just smart. You can see Jaden Simmons heading out to get looked at in the athletic training room. So Chris now has 14 points. Jalen Brown has 15. Hannah jumped. Nothing but net. She now has 13. Chris doesn't get the roll. Nice rebound by Lapolo. Stanford is really good this season when they hold the opposition below 65 points. Joan, you pointed out to me during the commercial break, they are 15 and 0 when doing that. Yeah, 15 and 0, and then you got another player, Brooke Dimitri. So Brown, an opportunity to get right at the free throw line. That's more like it, Jalen. Make it 17. Shot clock into single digits. Ariel almost lost the handle, gets it back into the Erie often, and Kiki will head to the strike. Has been on Jalen Brown for most of the night. Well, she's a good defender and she's a smart player. Works hard. Erie often. Make it 20 in the desert. Jalen Brown just has the ball ripped out of her belly <laughs> by Erie often. Hannah Jump gets it back to Lapolo. Jump, double team, swings it to Lapolo. Corner is Dimitri into Erie off and whip through. And it is beautiful basketball. Journey Thompson. Hopefully she will be okay. I hope so for, for both herself and her teammates. Roman foul. And I think it was two things shown. The shock of contact to the head, first of all. And we'll see if her teammates go looking for her and set up a play. Chloe Clardy calling out the play. Hosanna, nothing but net. That's also a great player to look after. Right. Jalen Brown can't answer with a three of her own, but Thompson is there with the rebound. Nice take by Chris. Plays under control and it has a versatile game. I mean, she can take it herself or get the three. A minute to go. Aguera gets the roll. Hello, Nunu. And now Natasha Adair wants to get Khadija Torre into this game, so she called timeout. She did get some burn against Oregon as Tara got the record for all-time wins, so that's pretty cool. And it's Stanford coming through with the steal. Both Ghana earns a trip to the free throw line. I know you are going to love the rotation on this basketball. As it comes off her left hand, it is gorgeous. She's one of two lefties on the Cardinal roster. Perfect rotation. I knew you would love that. When I, I saw her at shoot around today, I was like, Joan is going to love this player. She sings them both. scana has got six. Yeah, Stanford's uh, above their free throw average, 84% today, 16 for 19. Opposite story for the Sun Devils, just 8 of 15, 53%. And a lot of that is Brown, who just had a tough day at the free throw line. Shot clock is off. Papadaki, her bench wanted her to shoot that ball. She sure, they sure did. And Elena is just going to pull it out. Stanford will improve to 7-1 and one in Pac-12 play by a final count of 80-50. I want to thank producer Zora Ziani and director Jeff Butler.